Welcome to the channel guys. We're back outside. I got a project going for today. Uh, you guys won't know what the heck I'm building. When I get a little further along in the process, I'll explain it to you. I've got my new table saw. Oh, my table saw froze up. Of course, it built half the stuff in this house. So I had to go out yesterday. I was trying to look for a used one. I stopped at a ton of pawn shops. Nobody had nothing that was any good. So I ended up having to buy this and kind of happy I did. So we're going to give it its first cut. First thing I got to do, I've got this quarter inch plywood. That's one of the ingredients in what I'm building. And I'm going to cut this in half so it's easier to work with. And then I'm going to cut strips of 10 inches. Uh, make about 20 of these gadgets that I'm making. It's for uh, my old boss at the ranch. Uh, we didn't have a sample. I mean, I built them the ones about four or five years ago, but we didn't have any left. He didn't have any left for me to remember how to build them, but I think I remember, and uh, hopefully they'll work. So let's get busy, man. Waldo's over there. Waldo's got a problem with his leg. I've got to get him to the doctor ASAP. But he ain't showing no pain or nothing. That's that boy. But I'm not going to let it go. So let's get going on this, huh? I ain't got time to sit here and mess with you guys. Oh, righty, 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 righty. Yeah, this thing's been in the dog kennel over there. It's kind of kind of warped up. But it'll straighten out. 48. That's half a 95 and a half, isn't it? 48, yes, that's what I thought. Oh, I'm good at math. Okay. 48. It cuts real great. Now, how? There's my mark. All right. I have not got the woodworking tools out in a long time. But we're doing it today. Now I gotta go zip zip right there. Yeah. Let's see, I wanna do it from this side. Alrighty. I need to get some workbenches, man. Workhorses put together. I got the stuff. What you gotta have gorilla arms? I tell you what, you got an old you break. Oh, scoop back. Okay, a lefty. Gotta do a lefty. What the hell? Got too much stress on it. I tell you what we'll do. Cover back in there. This sucks. All right. I need to put it somewhere. All right. I can't stand to make you guys watch this. All right. Let's cut this dude in 10 inch strips. I already got this all set up. Everything should be. Oh. A little off, man. No, it wasn't. Oh. Trying to learn a new saw. I had that other one 10 years, man. Alright, let's double check that.
Yes, sir. Perfect. Let's do her. All right, where's my cut? Well, it don't matter. It's 48 by 48. Let's go this way. How do you turn this dude on? Shut off quick. I ain't sure those are wide enough. I ain't sure. Just can't remember. When I built them the last ones, I copied it off one he already had, only I made them a little better. 10 inches. That just seems a little narrow to me. Yeah, they'll work. They're gonna have to. Now, it's gonna have a thing here, a thing here. They're not. They need to be 12. All right. What do I... I just can't remember. All right, let me think on this. All right, well, I called him. He said 10 by 12 is fine. So I've got those cut. Uh, four, I should get four eight sixteen of them out i think that's all he needs for now uh, i don't want to make too many in case they're they don't work uh, so now we got to set this to 12. oh i like this saw and i think it'll fit on my table that i have for my chop saw i measured it these legs match up so that'll be nice but i don't want to fight with that big old thing right now all right, so now we're at 12. Yes, sir. Yep. Look, man, I don't like you. I don't like you, but I'm going to leave you because you look pretty. All right, let's chop them up into 12s. Simple. <laughs> Yeah, it cuts them. All right, I mean, we got here. One, hey, man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I already knew that. You got to count them. One, there's a couple of them a little different. Yeah, they're pretty close. Pretty close. All right, what these are, when you have thousands of roosters and chickens on a ranch, uh, you're going to have sick ones, or you're going to have injured ones. And what he'll do, he's got a little trailer. Uh, actually, he's got a barn now that they're in. And he puts the rooster in a small, confined area. When you got an injured chicken, you don't want them running around. You want them as confined as you can get them. And what these things are... Man, these are warped. They'll come out. These sit inside the container, the little compartment, and then they'll have a side that goes up like this and then slants down. And across here will be a roost. So when the rooster's on there, uh, he's going to poop, you know, 
you can pull the whole tray out, scrape them off. You don't have a big mess everywhere. You don't have to disturb them that much. You'll see what they look like when I get done. Yeah, this stuff's flexible enough. Even though they're a little warped, they'll be fine. And uh, so I'm going to get to... Now the real chopping begins. I got to hunt for lumber for the sides. So we'll get to that. All right, for the sides, I'm going to be ripping them out of this 2 by 12 uh, He's paying me pretty good to do this, so I'm not worried about using my lumber. It's got to get used sometime. Cut them three inch strips. All right, guys, this is what I'm going for here. Uh, like I said, when when the rooster's injured or sick, you, they can find them, and you got to have a roost for them. Now, he wanted these 14 inches. He called me back. It's too late. I cut the wood. So I improvised. Usually, I have the roost in the center, and I, said, I called him back. I said, why don't I move it up a little? Because the whole idea of this is he's going to roost here at night. He's going to poop in this tray. And then they pull the tray out, you clean these trays off. Uh, the last kind I made, I brad nailed. They didn't last very long. So these are glued and screwed. Everything is screwed in. They are very strong. I beveled the front edge so you can kind of scrape. When you make a roost, and I see this a lot on YouTube, people making roosts for chickens. I gotta screw that down more. You want to round off. Let me show you. What I do is I cut this at a 35 degree angle, that, and then because a, a, a rooster's claws grip around, and you want this nice and smooth and comfortable. You don't want a little skinny bar. You don't want a big square two by four. I see so many people building roosts out of two by fours, and it, it's the right width. It's probably a little too big, uh, but make sure you bevel them because that is the shape of a rooster's foot. So these ought to work great. I don't like that knot in the middle, but it, it's strong. I gotta screw this down some more. So now I gotta make 15 more. But this is my prototype. I'm gonna make them all this way. You ought to be happy with them. Now when I get the laser going, I'll be able to cut all these parts out of wood. I can even engrave it for them if he wanted to. And I downloaded the software last night, probably one day next week. Uh, I'll be doing a demo on that. You guys will see it. It's pretty cool, man. I'm, I'm excited. But these are what I'm going to make. All right. All right. I got all the sides cut for those. Uh, now I got to make those little pieces. They have to be cut at an angle. Did that on the table saw as well. And then make the roost. And then we're going to assemble them. I'm burning daylight, man. I got to get these delivered tomorrow. So I got to, I got to hump it. All right, I got all the sides cut. Now I need two more of the roosts. So I'll do one pass on here.
caught a bunch of six and a half inch pieces. All right, we'll put this aside for now. All right, I need two more of these at 10 inches. two measurements here, one's for the left side and one's for the right. That's 10 inches. Right. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a roost. Properly. All right. I want to cut a piece of this off on the inch and a quarter side. So we need to angle the blade. Just right. Let me do a test cut here. Like I did on the other one. And I never tightened the blade back up. I don't remember. I didn't never look at the last one. Alright, let's try another one. Inch and a quarter side. One more thing to cut, then we can start slapping them together. Mass production, man. Just call me Henry Ford. All right, these dudes right here, I'll show you how I do them. I've got this guide at 45 degree angle. I've got my fence right there. And flip it over. I'd be 28 of them.
Oh, I'm probably with this. These little leaves get caught in there. Oh, little leaves. Little leaves. I want you. Could, could get my chops all out. Be a lot easier, but hey. <laughs> Y'all get the point. All right, guys. You know how the rest goes. After this, we're going to start putting them together. Okay. Now I gotta bevel this edge and all I got because my sander is in my other truck. And I don't have my other truck. So I do the best I can with this. Where'd the battery go? Let's borrow this one. Yeah. Y'all probably have no clue what I'm making. And you'll never make one. assembly process. Let me get my sandpaper. This wood is real easy to work with. Alright. One at a time here. Make some room. Right. I'll show y'all the first one here. All right, this is the front. We get two of these dudes. We're going to glue. Screw. Oh, you can't be, you can't be clogged up in there already. Glue helps everything. I don't like that. Yeah, the screw the screw to hold that together. I don't know how that got in a pile. All right, I'm using inch and a quarter screws. Give me this. Well, it looks like a garage sale for DeWalt. All right. Get it on the flat part. Didn't go all the way down yet. Wait till it's all together. Put four screws on each side. What do you want, Miss Tilly? It ain't that time yet. Because I know it was 1 o'clock when I came out. You don't eat till 2.30. Your watch, I tell you, your watch is never right. Talking to Miss Tellers over there. We're just gonna put it together till it's done. And go to the next one. I'm gonna do one right here. What is it? What's with Benny in the Jets? Uh, is he a pilot or what? You know, okay? I don't know nothing about no Benny and no Jets. Well, we don't. All right, there's that. Give it a wampa. A wampa. Flicker on over. Ooh, ooh, glue. Got glue on my microphone. Now, we got to determine the front. That's the front. And we need these little doodabs. Compare. 
Oh, and what did I go on the other one? Inch and a half. All right, let's get a little pencil mark. Inch and a half. Are you learning how to do this in case you get chickens, Tilly? Tilly's right there. You guys can't see her. All right, now I'm going to drill some pilot holes. I suppose I don't have... Here it is. Get it about where I need it. Because I don't want this to split on me. A little glue. Get sloppy with it. <laughs> Ain't nobody cares. I just hope I got enough big screws. Uh, that's a good one. That dude ain't going nowhere, no how. No way. Yep, I'm going to have to hunt screws. it's down when the glue does squishies. Alright, up to the mark. Drill my pilot hole. Feels good to be out working again. After sitting in there for a week. Put some glue. Yeah, I don't care. Put it on your shit. Whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Oh no, there's one. And there's another. I think he's gonna like these. That's a little cattywampus. Go on over. Make sure they're down. That one can go down a little more. There we go. Now we put the roost on. About center. Drill another pilot hole. Right in daylight. <laughs> but a little glow. Don't need a lot. This stuff's good stuff, man. That gorilla glow. Oh, now I need a long screw. Well, that is a long one. Yeah? You just come over here to yawn. He's down, man. That looks perfect. Done. Give it a little sand and we're done with this one. Okay. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Oh, in the name of... All right. I'm wiping them down. Oh, I'm more. I'm about out of steam. Been at this all day. Just wiping them down with a thin coat of boiled linseed oil just to protect them. All right. When you're too tired to put the tools away proper, you just put them in there. Get them later. This one has been watching me really close. She was really interested in the linseed oil. Yeah, she wanted to be the linseed oil person. 
Come on. You can't come in. I got more to do out here. And then I'm going to get you guys some fresh water, okay? You were my assistant. All right. I got them all done. Loaded into the truck. Woo. That took me all day, man. I started about 9.30 this morning. And it's about 4, I think. They're all done. Loaded up. Wiped down my linseed oil. And then my work. I think these are much better than the last ones I made. He's probably going to like these, I hope. I ain't unmaking them, I can tell you that. Alright. I got to do a review on that sucker there. That's pretty cool. Wait till you see that. Alright. Alright guys. I got to get that big heavy saw put in there. Probably try to get it in the shed. Uh, I don't know if this is any interest to anybody. But I figured why not. Might as well film it. And if I got to make any more. I'll know exactly how to do it. Thanks for watching guys. Happy trails.